Hi everyone. Today I want to give you a brief introduction to the IPAC RX unit dose packaging system and imprint barcode labeling software. This system is designed for inpatient pharmacies to repackage bulk medication into unit dose packaging and put barcodes on all of the unit dose packaging. So what I'm going to show you now is what a typical setup would look like. Okay, so you will get an IPAC RX with or without an automated feeder and it will come with a barcode scanner, a fingerprint scanner, the IntelliCount automated packaging and user disks for the IntelliCount. The software will be preloaded and allow you to design any type of label for any type of packaging. So specifically, you can package in strips for unit dose packaging. Additionally, you can use label printers for clear tag labels. These would be more specifically used for pre-fill syringes, vials, ampules, or any other items of that nature where you would not want to obscure any of the manufacturer's text. You can connect additional printers where you can print out any kinds of additional labels that you might need for other items in the pharmacy. These also are multi-flag labels that you might want to use on specific things like insulin doses or something like that. Also, you can see that we have sheet labels. So these particular ones are for MILT or Medidose, or if you're using some healthcare logistics labels or any type of sheet labels that you may be using in your pharmacy. The advantage to this is that you are able to run one drug database. You will house all of your users in one system. You will have all of your templates in one system. All of your templates will be categorized by type of output but they will also be secure and you can maintain a consistency across your entire pharmacy of how you manage packaging drugs, how you manage labeling drugs, and what information is on those templates. So this system will allow you to combine all of that and have consistency across the board. We've networked these two IPACs and you'll notice that this IPAC has a different type of feeding system on it. This is a fill-in station. So this fill-in station feeder comes with customizable discs that allow you to pour the medication in here and it will print and package just like the IPAC RX does with the IntelliCount. You will also have the same advantages of using other print media for other types of packaging. Your sheet labels, multi-flag labels, clear tag labels, all of those labels will be able to be managed additionally through this system. You can also set up an additional station that would be a um, pharmacist review station. That would be where you would have your pharmacist that would be reviewing all of the packaging that's been done and they can approve that packaging there. They can also edit drugs, they can add drugs, they can add users, they can change users' credentials. All of those things can be managed from an, an additional station, either a printing station or just a pharmacist approval and basically admin station. Sometimes you might need to package drugs that might be hazardous drugs, drugs that need special care when packaging to protect the healthcare worker when they're packaging and to protect and reduce cross-contamination. So what we've done when we've designed the IPAC is we've designed it in a way so that every part or piece of the packager that the pill may touch or uh, dust from the pill may accumulate on, we've made those parts and pieces easily removable so you can clean those or you can buy a second set of those pieces. So those can be being cleaned and sanitized while you are packaging a different drug. If we're going to package a hazard drug, we wouldn't want to use the feeder for that. We would want to package that manually. So to do so, we would just swing the feeder out of the way and we would change our patented pill drop feeder disc. So now we have this set up and ready to package any drug. This is going to rotate and start our packaging run and we'll just slide the drugs in. While that is happening, we have a second set of all of those pieces. Well, here's the feed ropes, here is the pill tray, and here is the disc. Here's the teardrop disc, 
and here's the round calcium carbonate kit. All these things you can purchase as an additional kit to your eye pack so that they can be being sanitized while you are packaging one of your drugs. We're gonna come closer and I'm gonna show you where the pill falls, the pill pack, and then later we'll do a drug run. So notice that all of the packaging is concealed behind these uh, plexiglass doors. That's done in an effort to make sure you have access to the packaging material, access to the mechanisms for packaging and ability to clean those, but it's also done for safety to keep all of that out of the exposure of the worker as they are doing the packaging. So as you can see, you can open up the eye pack very easily can easily take all of these parts off. You can see how easily it is for you to put, put your hands through here to do the cleaning. And you can see that the pill will not be touching any of this, but if you were to get some kind of incidental uh, powder or residue from a pill, you can easily clean this off with alcohol. 70% alcohol is what we recommend for cleaning. And then here is the path that the pill will drop through this chute right here. So it will drop directly into the paper. Should not be any type of cross-contamination whatsoever on this. Once you have removed and cleaned, you can easily and quickly replace these items to start your next packaging run in a matter of seconds. So you would start by putting your feed throat, then your pill disc. And then if you're going to package manually, because if you have another hazardous drug that you need to package, you would put, and you're ready to package. So what I want to do is just show you a little quick short run of how the iPack Relax can easily package drugs and it's just a bam, scan it and it's a one click print. And what happens is it pulls up the last template that was used with this drug. So every time you package a drug in the packager, then the next time you go to package that drug, it will remember that template and it will automatically pull it up and it will automatically parse out the DSCSA barcode that's on here, which contains the NDC number, it contains a serial number, contains the manufacturer's lot number, and it contains the beyond use date. What's so great about our software is because we have a rules-based software, it takes the manufacturer's expiration date and it will calculate and populate the beyond use date for you. And it will also even bring it down to the quantity size of the bottle. If you want to package just 10, you can do that. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pour these pills out. So it's set for 10. All I have to do is press print. Okay, so now what I'm going to show you is the pill pathway within the machine. What we've done is we've asked one of our super technicians to open the doors, pull our safety sensors, so that we can show you the packaging operations within the machine, okay? This is not something that you are authorized to do in your pharmacy. This is not something that you should ever do in your pharmacy. This is only for our technicians and only so I can show you the operations on the inside. In fact, if you open the doors while the machine is in operation, because of the sensors that we have built into it, the packaging operations will stop. That is designed for your safety. So, we're happy to do a demonstration for you at any time to answer any of your questions. If you have questions about hazardous drugs, if you have questions about how to use the packager in manual mode, or how to use the packager with the IntelliCount feeder, just let us know and we'll be happy to schedule a webcast for you.